All right, hi everybody. It's Bonkai922. Um, I don't know if anyone's noticed this, but yeah, I'm gonna do a interesting thing tonight for a live stream. Uh, the first hour is going to be me talking about the news, and I'm gonna go into a little Seven Deadly Sins talk, and then after that first hour, we're gonna, I'm gonna bring in some people. And we're gonna talk about Maggie. So it's gonna be a Maggie discussion with some news, anime news to talk about that I found out that somebody gave me as a mom. Uh, and that's a good story. Now this, Seven Deadly Sins, Chapter 39. Now, this is guy, he did a review, he says, oh, I didn't like it at all. He gave it like a 7 out of 10 or some shit like that. And I understood why. I'm giving this a 4 out of 5. For good reason. For good reason, though. Good reason, good reason. Because the ha first half, I, I give a 4. Now, the second half, eh, <laughs> it was kind of a, a ass bowl. It, it kind of was, because, and, 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 and the ending was like, yo, Bod. Bod was like, yo, he was like, yo, listen, Melos, Captain, 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 my Captain. That ain't gonna fly. No, we're not having this. You're gonna fight Diane? Mm, and you're just gonna, mm, I don't think so. I'm going to have to step in and just push you a little. Just push you a little. And he pushed, and Diane pushed, and it was like, holy shit. <laughs> but yeah, that, that's basically what, what went down in this chapter. So let's get into it. Chapter 39. The, the chapter wasn't named in chapter 39. It was just like right in. It went straight into the chapter. We didn't really get a title right off the bat, but I'm reading it. It's from chapter 38. The name of the chapter 39 chapter, the chapter 39 title is Sentiment of Many Years. Um, basically, what happened in this chapter, okay, Cain, the old man. Now, Cain came from the kingdom of Danaphor. And that is, if anyone's listening, from has been reading since two or three chapters ago, that is the kingdom, the same kingdom that Melodos completely wiped out. <laughs> completely wiped out. And he has, Cain has resentment to that. He's very pissed off at Melodos. And at first, it was like one of those things where, holy shit. And this was actually an interesting chapter. And this is another reason I'm giving this a 4 out of 5. For the first time, we've been introduced to something in this manga. A rule book. Yeah, a law. Like, what? Yeah, that's what interests me the most. It wasn't the fact that it was, of course, the fact that he was revealing this sin to, to Cain. But the other thing was... Bond saying, oh, you're not supposed to do that. That's a law in the law of... Seven Deadly Sins. Law number three of, of us being a Seven Deadly Sin. You cannot say the sin that you committed to other members of Seven Deadly Sins. And I was like, what? So, we got Cain, basically, you know, there, and he's like, people were saying, oh, he's from down to four, the kingdom was destroyed uh, 16 years ago. And another thing interesting that happened in this chapter, Elizabeth saying, my father told me about it just once. The kingdom where I was born. That struck me. That struck me. Because remember, here's the thing about Elizabeth. She did not come from the kingdom that uh, her sister came from, Veronica. Not the same kingdom. She came from a different kingdom. They're not, they're not blood related. So, that kingdom... That Melodos destroyed was the same kingdom she was born in. That struck me. That was like, wow. Wow. Just the first half of this was just filled with just surprises galore in, in, in this chapter. And then, you know, they begin the match. And, um, you know, and then this is where, you know, um, Bomb butts in. He's like, and his king's like saying, I don't really know about the, the goes, what goes on in the human world, but he's talking like he knows the captain, and Bond's saying, hey, you two, don't pry into his business. The seven laws of the seven deadly sins, number three. A sin shall ask no questions, 
of another member's sin have you forgotten? And I'm like, there's a law? And hey, if that's law number three, what the hell is law number one? <laughs> you know, you can't ask about their sin. Other sins cannot ask about another one's sin. So, that's pretty crazy. And now, the reason Cain, the reason he told Cain was because he's not a sin. And he's not asking. He, he was not a sin, so he can ask uh, Melodos about it. So, and we see, um, what's his face, the ho the Holy Knight, unfortunately, I forgot his name. Uh, he's talking to Tazu, uh, saying, um, how do you know that, um, he says, our faces look like faces of men, and we going in, and he's, and, and Cain's saying, got some fire, he's creating this fire out of nowhere, and saying, you have the audacity to call yourself Melodos before me, are you prepared to face the consequences, why did you destroy the kingdom? And he just he, he blasts Melodos with fire all around. And 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 Diane and King are like, why is Captain Do not dodging that? He and then Bond's realizing, oh, he could dodge it. He's doing it deliberately. And that's pretty much what goes down. He's deliberately and Kane's asking, why did you kill the people? And saying, you know, so on and so forth. And Bond. Yeah, basically says he's taking hits on purpose. Um, and he's saying, "Why did you kill comrade? Our comrades? Why did you kill Liz? Person most important to you?" And he comes up with this huge fucking fireball. Why did you? And then he says, "Why did you betray everything you stood for?" And he's there, there, dodge it, dodge it. And then he does a counter to it. Before he counters it, he says, I did everything I could to protect them all. I wanted to protect everything, but I couldn't. That is my sin, and that's why I can't fail this time. And then he just obliterates, and this is probably going to be my thumbnail, this one page, where he just, he does his counter, and he just obliterates the, the flame, the fireball, and it's just this bright glow. I was like, yo, that was awesome. So, and here's, here, this was probably the, the highlight of the chapter, in most regards. This was the highlight. Because after it, it was like, <laughs> after it, no, no. So, and this is probably where the, the chapter goes downhill in a way. Kang doesn't fight him. No, they don't fight. After that confrontation... And he, he admits, and Amalas tells him the sin, and, oh, what happened, and all that stuff. Cain basically uh, says, it's his win. So, I'm not upset. I'm not upset. I'm, I'm kind of upset, in a way. But at the same time, after what happened at the end of the chapter, I was like, yeah. Bond, in a way. Bond saved the tournament. And I'll get into that later on. So he blows up, he counters it, and, you know, there's a, there's a little small talk here and there. Um, counter Vanner, your technique that disperses any power against you, against you, saying that, and, um, um, and then they're having a little small talk. He, he's really known for, Kane is really known for, he's called Kane Barzod. The Flame Barzod. Basically, that's what his real name is. And the fight ends there. And, uh, and then he's asking, can I believe what you say, that you didn't portray the people of Danafor? And he says, yeah. And, and he's so happy and he's crying. This was an emotional, this was an emotional chapter in a way, the first half. It was, it, it, the first half was emotional and, and, and intense, and the second half was comedy relief, which I'll get into. Um, and then he just gives up, basically. Um, he's saying, you know, I slowly doubt, little by little, turn into suspicion, because he, he, he thought he really did kill the kingdom. Um, that I'm able to meet another comrade in arms in the past like this. I'm really happy. And basically, that's where it ends, and he's like, the ref's like, what about the fight? Oh, that's right. And, uh, Kane says, that's my loss. <laughs> and that's basically what happened. 
Um, and, you know, he's talking a little bit about just reflecting my tax. We had done what we had done. I haven't gotten that old yet. And then he, he's walking away. And Kane's saying, well, then I'll just sit back and watch the finals. Now, Elizabeth looks at him, like, to suggest... I thought, I thought that, that scene was kind of weird. Because I thought that was going to bring up something. Like, he's walking off the, 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 the ring, out of the ring, and Elizabeth looks at him. I thought that meant something. But apparently it didn't. Apparently it didn't mean anything at all. It just... She just walked off. And that was it. Um, then... <laughs> Then, this part, which kind of crazy, you know, uh, and 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 you know, Diane was asking him about the, you know, who's you know that old guy and so on and so forth, and he, uh, and then Kane's like, the law, the law, don't talk about it, you know, and then basically the Bizzle Five Festival finales, and basically that's them, Diane and Melodos. Now because. And there was this scene where the pig hawk, he makes a dress for, for Elizabeth. And, you know, that was it. And then we got this fight. And everyone's like, yay! And she's like, Diane was going to give up the fight to him. Yeah, that's how much she wants his That's how much she wants his dick. She was going to give up the fight to Mellows. And, you know... Bond was like, he must have been in the corner thinking, oh, we're not having this. No. No. Bond's like, Bond was, was, he was in the background. He was watching this, and he was like, he was like talk. he was secretly talking. You know, fourth dimensional wall, he was talking to all the readers. And he's like, oh, by the way, people, we're not having this. No. No. Uh, we're not, we're not following the douchebag way. Yeah, we're not having it. This is going to be a fight, people. Don't worry, don't worry. And basically, that's what happened. You know, he, he, these women show up out of nowhere. And she's like, <laughs> these women who, um, uh, is just, just cheering you on. And I was like, yeah, what the fuck? And getting erotic cheers from these women. And, and, and Bond says, a climax, a climax should be f exciting. That was great acting, ladies. And he's paying them off. And I was dying. And then, and then you got... Diane. Listen. 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 It isn't wise. I'm going to say it right now. It isn't wise... To piss off a jealous giant. A female jealous giant. Because she will rock your shit, and she will smash you into the fucking ground. And that's pretty much what happened. <laughs> Bond this made it so that, that she would fight him. She said, so you were playing around with the many women, didn't recognize them, but don't even recognize them at all? Let the fight begin. What? He says, well, not the He's just Diane saying, you cheater, and pushes him into the fucking ground, and it says, Meldoss is definitely dead. Uh, and it says, uh, in the midst of the sin that shrouds danger and Di Diana Four and Melodos, Diana erupts in envy. And it says, next chapter to be, con it says to be continued in chapter 40 and 41. Oh, I didn't see that. I, that's confusing. I guess, I guess they're gonna, it's going to be a double chapter release. I didn't really see that. It says, chapter 40, Bizzle, Fight. Festival finales and chapter 41 terrifying canon and That's the end of the chapter people and let me just say it right now <laughs> Bonds Bond saved this fucking chapter. I Mean the first half was great because you got the reveal You got the law coming into play all these interesting facts that were brought up um, To the surface of this of, of this read but after that, it went downhill. But then Bond was like, oh, no, we're not doing this. No, no, I'm the sin of greed, and I want to see a fight. No, you're not, you're not, no, no. You can, you can sneer your way out, Captain, against Kane, but you're not doing it against Diane. So I'm going to tip off these, these hot broads, 
uh, make them make Diane jealous so she could punch him in the face. <laughs> that was unbelievable. That was unbelievable. That was unbelievable. Don't piss her off. I'm telling you now. Do not piss her off. But it was not his fault. It was Bond. He was like, yo, Bond. Bond is the man. Do not turn your eyes away from the sin of greed. Because he will get your ass. And you will. <laughs> so, yeah, this is four out of five. Because, because of the first half. Yeah. The, the, the second half was pretty just, just bullshit. <laughs> Yo, Bond. Acting like an asshole. Yo. Yo. Bond. He's fucking awesome. He's fucking awesome. That was, that was awesome. And I, I give it as a four out of five, even though this was kind of, you know, I, I want to say an ass pull, but at the same time, the ending was priceless. Just, just priceless. It was just priceless. That was just, oh my god, it was so awesome. Uh, but yeah, I mean, the whole thing there, that was kind of, that was kind of a letdown because it was, it was almost a letdown. The way I look at it, and this is going in 16 minutes, so I want to finish this last fault. It was almost a letdown because... If Diane had just given up, everyone would be like, Boo! You know? I mean, the whole thing with, with, with Kane, he just... It's his loss. Pfft, that's it. And it doesn't matter who wins this fight, because either way, um... Ah... Uh, <laughs> they're gonna get the hammer. So, yeah. But, good chapter. I'm not gonna say great. Good chapter. Good chapter. Four out of five. Uh, look, I'm wondering if next week we're getting a double release? Two chapters next week? Because they said continued in chapter 40 and 41. I didn't see that. That was like a hidden thing. Kind of interesting that they did that. So we'll see. But overall, good chapter. I'm Bonkai922, 17 minutes. Wow, I went in on this. Um, all this shit happened. Yeah. You know, first half was good. The second half was... <laughs> Bond! Yo, don't, don't, don't fuck the Bond, man. Who? He'll screw you over. Yeah, he'll screw you over. He doesn't give a shit. He goes in there, just boom, yeah, there you go, ladies. Here's your buddy. I was awesome. So, yeah, I'm Bob Kai Night Toy 2. See you guys later. Bon and Diane. They will fuck you up, man. They will. See ya.